Okay, when we look at these uh, ionic compounds, we're going to notice that both of them have a charge. Like, for example, sodium has a plus 1, chlorine has a minus 1, nickel has a plus 2, oxygen has a minus 2. What we're trying to do is we're trying to equalize the positive and the negative charges. So whatever I have on the positive side, I'm going to have the same on the negative side. So we, we start off at the bottom section, and we're going to be figuring out what the overall charge should be. So we have a plus 1 for sodium, and we have a minus 1 for chlorine. Since they're both 1, they're going to be equal to opposite. Plus 1 for sodium, negative 1 for chlorine. Now in order to do that, in order to get plus 1 charge, we need to multiply this positive charge by 1 to get plus 1. We need to multiply this negative charge by 1 to get negative 1. So when we write these down, we're going to write down the symbol, then the quantity of the positive ion, then the symbol plus the quantity of the negative. In this situation, it will be Na1 Cl1. However, since this is one-to-one -one ratio, we do not include these ones. In fact, we can go ahead and erase them. And we'll go ahead and rewrite the Cl right next to the sodium, NaCl. S-O-D-I-U-M. We do not change sodium. We change the chlorine to chloride. I-D-E from the I-N-E. Going on to the next one. We have nickel, which is a plus 2. Oxygen is a minus 2. They both equal 2. They both go into 2. So this has to equal plus 2. This one has to equal minus 2. In order to get nickel to be from this 2 plus to a plus 2, we multiply it by a 1. To get the oxygen from this negative 2, 2 minus, to a negative 2, we also multiply it by 1. So again, following our conventions, we write the symbol, quantity, symbol, quantity. However, in this case, since the quantity is both 1, we're going to ignore it right now, and we're going to write N-I-O. Now, when we look at nickel, we're going to notice that it is a uh, transition metal. It's in the middle, the section of the periodic table. Um, for example, I can show you. This is our periodic table. Nickel is in this area, which makes it a transition metal. So, <clears throat> whoops, let's put that back on there. We're going to name this nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L. We don't change anything. But we have to specify which nickel it is. So for that, we're going to refer again to the charge of it. And it has a plus 2, so it will be a nickel 2 oxide. Remember, we change the I-D-E. We always add an IDE ending. Okay, going on to more complicated. For these, we're going to consult table E. Reference table E. Reference table E. Now we look up NH4, which reference table E is on the second page. We're going to notice this is a plus 1. This is a minus 2. Oops. So we're going to look up minus 2, plus 1. They both go into the number 2. This one's going to be positive. This one, of course, will be negative. Now, how many ammoniums do we need to get from a plus 1 to a plus 2? We need to multiply it by 2. To get the carbonate, CO3, from a 2 minus to a negative 2, we need to multiply that one by a 1. So again, following our conventions, we write symbol, quantity, symbol, quantity. In this case, we have a polyatomic ion, so we have to write all the symbol with the exception of the charges. So we're not going to write the 2, we're not going to write the plus. We're going to write NH4, 2, C O three.
However, there's a 1 there, but again, we're going to assume that that 1 is understood. So here we're going to put parentheses to show that we have two ammoniums. 2 times the ammonium. There is an imaginary 1 out here and an imaginary parentheses. That 1 refers to how many CO3s we have. However, we don't need that information. So the way we name this is we don't change anything. This is ammonium carbonate. You get that from table E. All right, last one. We have mercury one, which if you use an older version of the period of the reference table, it's going to call it dimercury. You can call it either one. This is a plus two. This is a minus three. They both go into six. Now, how are we going to get this mercury from a two to a six and the PO4 from a three to a six? So the mercury, we're going to multiply that number by three. The PO4, we'll not multiply it by two. So again, following our conventions, we write symbol, quantity, symbol, quantity. And HG2, 2 plus, this is the symbol part. That up there refers to the charge. Ignore it. Again, symbol, charge, get rid of it. You don't care about that. So HG2, but there's three of them. So we need the parentheses. And then we got PO4, and we have two of them from right here. This is called mercury one phosphate. Oh, it's not going to fit. Barely. All right. Enjoy. Good luck with these problems.